Hi, um, this is my second video that I've made dedicated to barbecue um, and outdoor style cooking. Not barbecue or outdoor cooking today, but I'm making a uh, Southwest style cornbread, which you're going to love. It's um, really moist, uh, sweet, and also a little savory, and it's easy, easy to make, and everybody's going to love it. So, here we go. Okay, first off, we've got the oven preheating right now at 350 degrees. I'm going to add one half pound of butter. and one cup of sugar. We're going to cream that together. Okay, now the um, butter and the sugar are all creamed together. I'm going to add four eggs one at a time. Oh. Mix that up really, really good together. Okay, now the eggs are all mixed in really good. I'm going to add one can of just regular old cream corn you buy at the store. One um, four ounce can of the uh, chopped green chilies. We use mild, but you know, you can go as hot or whatever you want. Like I said, this is mild green chilies. Gonna go with one half cup of grated cheddar cheese, mild. One half cup of grated jack cheese. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Four teaspoons of uh, baking powder. Just gonna mix that up really good. I'm going to add one cup of regular old white flour and one cup of yellow cornmeal. I'm going to mix this up really well and then uh, we'll get it in the pan, get it ready to bake. Now what I've done is I've poured the mixture into a six inch um, cast iron skillet. Really old, old skillet actually. It was handed down to me by my grandmother um, that I've just sprayed with uh, you know, a nonstick like Pam or whatever, and I'm going to put it in the oven. Again, I preheated the oven at 350 degrees, but as soon as this thing goes in the oven, I'm going to decrease the temperature to 300, and it's going to bake in there for 45 minutes to an hour. Basically, I'm going to you know test it after 45 minutes with a toothpick. The toothpick comes out clean in the center, and this will be done. Okay, so here it goes in the oven. Like I said, I decreased the temperature to 300. Center rack, and we're going to bake it. Um, so I'm going to check it after 45 minutes, but uh, it should be done between 45 minutes and an hour. Or so anyway, check on it. Okay, it's been an hour now. Um, I checked it at 45 minutes, and it just wasn't uh, set up in the center yet. Checked it uh, just a few seconds ago, and it's ready. So like I said, it just took an hour, and here we are. You can see it's. It's a really beautiful uh, golden brown. We're going to just set it, let it cool now, and uh, I'll cut some slices and let you see how it looks. Okay, it's um, cool enough to serve now. It, it hasn't really been cooling that long, but it smells so good I just couldn't resist. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just show you a nice close-up of how it looks. Like I said, this stuff is so moist. Um, this like, is an old 6-inch six, uh, six cast iron pan. As you can see, it pretty much came up right to the edge, cooked over just a little bit, but I just like the way that looks when it does that. Um, you can see all the nice little pieces of corn and chili pe pepper in there, and it's really moist. If you don't have or don't want to use a six inch pan, uh, one of the other things that we'll use is a uh, eight inch by 12 inch by two inch glass Pyrex, and uh, that works fine. One other thing, I want to just say, give props to my sister Jennifer. She's the one that turned me on to this recipe. And like I said, it's, it's just a real favorite of ours. So enjoy. It's real easy. And like I said, it's a crowd pleaser. Thank you.